Well, I'm very excited and anxious about tonight. Um, we're at a point where we, um, people, the medical solutions are there. You know, there, there's an access issue, but there's also a power issue and a dynamic around, uh, around rebuilding, uh, rekindling a movement. I'm convinced that these kind of questions, these kind of discussions are essential at this point for us to bring together activists who are veterans with young people who can actually begin to challenge each other and figure out how to work together and cooperate in ways that we didn't do so well in the past. someone who's been involved in this work for a long time. I have Think Tank Envy. We have nothing like this in New York that I know of, and I've spoken to this group before. It's was an extraordinarily useful evening and Sean is incredibly inspiring and has been my hero for years and um, I work in community engagement and um, it just really reinforced to me the importance of the GPA principles today and um, I was really touched by uh, what he said in the sense that um, there's more stigma now facing people living with HIV than, than ever before. where the issue of networking comes in or in those conversations that happen here but that need to happen in larger rooms and in larger networks and on regions and nations and, and, and internationally and why meetings like this are important I think. It was really good to meet Sean Strube and hear his voice and hear about um, issues in America because it can be quite different um, what happens in America to what happens here with the NHS here and with the Trump um, and the issues going on there and criminalisation there. So it's really interesting to hear it from his mouth, but also the history of, of how um, HIV activism has evolved. Um, and I just like the way that the forum was very open for lots of people to discuss lots of different things. Mm -hmm.